Hey now, today I'm going to take my sourdough to 11 by making a jalapeno smoked cheddar sourdough. Uh, for this, I'm going to start off with my flour, which is just 100% uh, strong baker's flour. And I'm going to go with an 80% hydration here of filtered water, just because I think the cheese with the extra salt and stuff might dry it out a little bit. Um, but I don't need the salt and the jalapenos right now, so I'm just going to toss those out of the way and mix the flour together. I'm doing this for the autolis. My leaven is looks like it's probably a couple hours away from being ready, so this is going to give this uh, bread a nice chance to uh, have a solid autolis. And once the leaven is ready, we will uh, mix that in. Okay, so we've had actually uh, about two and a half hours here autolis, and my leaven, you can see here, is just super poofy and awesome and ready to go. So I'm just going to throw in uh, 250, uh, sorry, 125 grams, so that'll be 25% uh, leaven here. Yep, perfect. Well, 128 grams, that'll do. Okay, so I'm gonna wet my hands here and I will mix it in. So this will take just uh, probably a two minutes tops here and it'll be fully incorporated. And here we are, fully incorporated. That's awesome. And um, yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna cover it back up uh, with the plastic there and give it uh, half an hour. All right, I got a little distracted. It's been more like 45 minutes, um, but at this point here, I'm going to be adding some fine sea salt and this is 1%. Uh, I'm going a little bit less than I normally do because I'm adding this uh, cheese and that's also going to be salty. So I'm just gonna set aside the jalapenos for now because I'm gonna dice them up and add them during the, uh, um, later on. And so what I've got here, this is some of my um, home smoked cheddar and this was 200 grams. So for this uh, 500 gram uh, loaf, um, flour wise that works out to 40%. So I'm going to toss that in there as well. This is a lot of cheese, but that's, uh, that's kind of the plan. So again, just wetting my hands with uh, some filtered water there. I'm just going to mix this up for a few minutes, try to incorporate a bunch of that uh, salt throughout the dough and get all of this cheese mixed all the way through. And there we are after a couple of minutes. So now I'm just gonna let this sit for half an hour and then it'll be time for the first stretch and fold. All right, so after this half an hour, I'm just going to do a little stretch and fold here. And then I'm going to give this, uh, I'm gonna cover it up, give it another 30 minutes, and then we will do the lamination, at which point I will be uh, adding a bunch of chopped jalapenos. Okay, we're ready for the lamination, so I'm just going to use some filtered water here and just spray down my work surface so that the dough does not stick to it. Fingers crossed on that. Put my hands here with some filtered water. And get this bread out. There we are. Very nice. It popped out really nicely there. Boop. Now, I'm going to begin this somewhat laborious process of stretching it out, and then we will get some uh, jalapenos on it. Okay, I don't think I'm going to get much thinner than that just because of uh, all the cheese in here. I do have to mention that I'm super happy I used the smoked cheddar because it's making uh, just this amazing smoky uh, smell going on here. This aroma in the kitchen, which is beautiful. Now I'm going to see what I can get on here for jalapenos. So for the lamination, it's a whole bunch of uh, kind of stretching things over into thirds. For the first bit, so I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna stretch it over. And we're gonna get this cheese in here, get some more jalapenos. I tested these ones out, they're not super hot, so I'm definitely not scaring myself by putting in uh, this many here. Like that, and this. See, it was the perfect amount. Look at that, beautiful. Do this. Tuck it up like that, and that's just going to wind up going back into the bowl. I'm going to cover it up and give it uh, a half hour here, and then we'll look at some coil folds. 
Okay, so this is actually the second coil fold. Um, the first one, everybody had abandoned me in my house, uh, so it's pretty hard to film that. But it's the exact same process. So it's just gently picking up, kind of tucking, letting it roll underneath, um, going 180, doing it again, then rotating 90, repeat, repeat. So it's just four of those. All right, so I'll probably give it one more coil fold um, after this, after another 30 minutes, and then we'll, we'll see if it's ready to go. All right, here we are. So three stretch and folds, and then I actually let it go about an hour and 15 minutes after the last one. I think perhaps like the smoke and the cheese and maybe some of the extra salinity there kind of slowed down the fermentation just a little bit because I was running some regular sourdough side by side, and this is 45 minutes after the other one was ready. But as you can see here now, we got some really nice jiggle going on. So I'm just gonna pop this guy out. And kind of just do this, and I'm going to give it a little pre-shape here. This smells so incredibly amazing right now. Smoky and jalapeno-y. Okay, fabulous. All right, so I'm just going to take this, tuck it here. I'm going to give it a bench rest of about 10 minutes or so. And we'll come back to a final shape, and then, uh, yeah, get her in the fridge. All right, in about 10 minutes here, we'll get this. Again, the aroma of this is absolutely amazing. Just a little shape. It's really kind of holding its shape super nicely anyway because of all of that cheese and stuff that's in there right now. Just gonna quickly do a coating with some rice flour and the banneton, a little bit on the top here. Plunk it on in. I'm gonna cover it back up with one of these little plastic liners and uh, yeah, in the fridge overnight and we'll bake in the morning. All right, so it's the next morning. I've got my oven uh, preheated. It's been at 500 with the cast iron there for uh, a good half hour. This bread is looking beautiful, nicely fermented and kind of poofy. I'm just going to get a little flip here. Let's see, I'm going to add just a little bit of rice flour to this and then I will do a little scoring on this. And then I'm going to toss it into the oven. Um, we'll cover it up with the, the combo cooker and give it uh, 30 minutes at 440 degrees. And then we will uncover. All right, so 30 minutes in. I'm just gonna take this. Oh my goodness, look at that nice melting cheese and it smells so strong of jalapeno. It's amazing. All right, so I'm gonna dial this down to 430 and give it about 20 or 25 minutes. I'll check on it. All right, so it's been 22 minutes. I think this is looking amazing and done. So I'm just gonna try and carefully pop it out here. Now the hardest part of this entire operation is going to be letting that sit <laughs> and cool down before slicing into, but fantastic. We'll check that out here shortly. Well, the bread is cooled down, but things are heating up here in the kitchen as uh, we're getting ready to slice into this amazing looking bread. So I'm just gonna cut right through here and let's expose what is going on. Look at that, big pockets of cheese going on there that got all melty. Actually, that crumb's really not too bad considering how much stuff I jammed into this bread here. It just totally smells like jalapeno and a little bit of smoke uh, from that cheddar. So we should probably Take a little slice here. And by little, I mean huge. Because I want to see what the heat level is of this bread. That is super delicious. I didn't get any cheese in that bite. But definitely nice uh, jalapeno flavor. It's not super spicy, but again, those jalapeno peppers weren't terribly spicy to begin with. But this is definitely an amazing, uh, an amazing crack at this. And this particular bread is also super, super moist. I'm really glad I went with that slightly higher hydration. Yeah, so until next time, keep her at 11.